Hey everyone, I'm Shannon Gonter, professional counselor here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, we are doing our Ask Anything series. So these are questions that were asked by you guys and we're getting them answered by professionals in the field. And today we have a professional counselor here to answer one of our questions. So this is Amanda Lawless. She works in a group practice called Cognitive Refinery down in Bowling Green, Kentucky. She works with individuals who are older than 12 and have a really difficult time navigating um, depression, anxiety, or past traumas that they've experienced. And she also does couples work as well. If you wanna learn more about her, she's on Facebook, she's on Instagram. You can find her on social media at The Cognitive Refinery. But thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so our question that we have for you is, I've been in counseling for a while and I really like it, but I don't feel like I have that many issues and I feel kind of guilty for taking up one of my counselor slots. I mean, maybe there's someone else that needs counseling more than I do. What mm -hmm. do I do? Okay. So believe it or not, this is a situation that comes up quite often. Honestly, we get calls from clients that, you know, maybe they don't have severe depression or anxiety going on, but they may want to come in just for life things, uh, such as life transitions or college students coming in and they're getting ready to graduate. And how do I navigate this whole new world I'm about to get into? So one of my things I would say is, first of all, when you call an agency or you contact a therapist, you should not be made to feel like you're wasting their time. This is your space, your time, and it should be a very non-judgmental space for you to figure out what works best. So when you call, it's really important that you feel like they're taking their time to figure out what's going on, that you are not wasting that therapist's time. We are here to meet clients where they are, no matter where they are. Mm -hmm. And I've had clients call, come in, and they're like, I want to try this therapy thing, but I... I don't know what to do and I just want to see what personal development I can do. So that's where I work with them to figure out how they want to improve their life or to look at their values. But you should never be made to feel like you're wasting my time or any therapist's time. Uh, that is a space for you to uh, figure out things and just to have a non-judgmental space. We can all use that. I think we can all benefit from therapy, to be honest. Yeah. So it's not, and that's kind of a taboo people think of. They just think, oh, I should have this severe thing going on or no, we, there's a whole continuum of how people approach life. Some may be more distressing than others, but that does not make your situation less than. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always like to think of it like living mm -hmm. on a spectrum. And yeah. um, I think naturally the psychology field doesn't do too hot of a job, like mm -hmm. sharing what happens in therapy because of right. confidentiality and the, the mm -hmm. reasons, of course, why we don't do that, but how it does get depicted maybe through family members that we've known who have been mm -hmm. or people who have not had too hot of experiences in it or right. TV or whatever it is. It's just like, I've heard like, well, I don't have a drinking problem and mm -hmm. I'm not depressed. I don't need to be in therapy. And it's like, well, oh, there's lots of other reasons, like you mentioned oh. before, that people go to speak to a counselor. Absolutely. And I always uh, laugh a little bit. At one of my starting questions, my first meet with someone was like, you know, have you ever done therapy before? And what are your thoughts about therapy if you've never done it? Because we all have our preconceived thoughts yeah. about it. And I always laugh. I'm like, oh, don't even get me started on a therapist on TV. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> of what that process looks like or someone being in counseling. So I think, and also too, if somebody's getting ready to meet with a counselor, they have a right to ask them, like, can you tell me about the therapy process? Can you tell me how you approach yeah. clients? And because you need to know that information and you should feel comfortable with who you work with. And again, it goes back to that clinician should not make you feel less than, or you're wasting their time because honestly, it's not about me. This is, I'm here and a, a clinician is there for their clients. Yeah. Yeah. And like you had mentioned in the beginning, you know, this is, um, speaking from, you know, my caseload's experience, this mm -hmm. is something that's really common for a lot of people to feel. Mm -hmm. And so if you are feeling guilty or you're feeling a certain type of way about it, like bring mm -hmm. that into the therapy room and you and your therapist can explore that together. Absolutely. And that should be, you know, when you're talking with your, your therapist, like they should be open to hearing any concerns you have. And, and it's totally fine. And also too, some clients like, doesn't mean also you have to meet weekly with a clinician. Now, some people might start out weekly, but I've had some clients in these situations where they're just trying to figure out life or figure out themselves that we do every other week. 
-hmm. or sometimes even once a month. So just because you're coming in and maybe it's not as distressing on your life, you can also space out the therapy appointments to where it's more manageable for you and you feel like you get something even more out of it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love that. And I hope that individual really enjoys that answer as well. Is there anything you want to leave our audience with, whether it just be like mental health tip trick, anything wise? Sure. So one of the things I would recommend for mental health is to have that courage to get to know your therapist, ask them questions, and to even, you know, talk with the staff that might be working there, get a better feel for the place. Uh, even you can always call multiple agencies too to figure out like who's the best fit. So sure. I, I just encourage people to take take that step. Yeah. Well, thank you. And guys, remember you can touch base with her on social media, Instagram, Facebook, it's Cognitive Refinery. Mm -hmm. um, and if you have any questions for us, then let us know, DM us, and we will get them answered by another professional. But until then, I hope you guys all have a really good day. Thank, thank you. you.